it's literally like a hill with trash everywhere but there is some there's a big old knife there is some metal back here if you look really hard you gotta look for it but there's metal Separate this correctly so we get paid correctly. It's going in the heavy wire bucket. This man had so much stuff accumulated and didn't cash it in. It's crazy. There's a little bit of circuit board. The guy was like a hoarder scrapper but he didn't cash it in it's like years worth of saving stuff up and he did pass away he went to the hospital and passed away and i'm cutting the cords off i'm not just wasting everything so i can't even park up there and walk up and down the hill it's like in the middle of nowhere but I like scrapping, this is what I do, so I'm on Okay it. guys, so I picked all that metal up that guy gave me. It was some heavy murder parts and stuff. He was an older man, he was around 70 years old. He was very nice, very cool dude. He knew a lot about diesel work, which I don't, and welding and stuff. Well, he told me it was way more than a full truck full and all. It, it was less than a quarter of a load. But uh, it was a nice to get free metal off the guy. He was very cool. I'm going to pick a buddy of mine up. He's supposed to know where a whole bunch of metal and wire and copper and aluminum is. I told him I'll come get you. We'll go look at it and see if I can get some more metal. Fill this truck back up. We got about two hours before we got to head to the scrapyard. On to the next one, people. Work, work, work. Okay, YouTube. This is a different kind of video. I'm getting aluminum and some wire off some train tracks. It's actually a homeless encampment where the person passed away and he was like a hoarder. Um, there's a path to turn out like not too far up there. And this is a homeless encampment. There's trash everywhere. I got like 45 second clip of it recently, but it's literally like a hill with trash everywhere. But there is some there's a big old knife. There is some metal back here. If you look really hard, you gotta look for it, but there's metal. And uh, so the person passed away, nobody else lives here. And a friend of mine knows them personally. And that's how we're back here. So uh, I'm taking some metal. There's so much trash everywhere. I'm going to have to bag some cardboard up and take it with me too. Apparently the person used boxes to bring stuff and then just threw the boxes wherever. So the whole woods is a mess. There's trash bags everywhere. Uh, I've never done this before. There's like, but the guy was a scrapper. If you look, there's like some brass, some wire and stuff. And, uh, I'm gonna take a full load out of here and do a scrap run tomorrow with it. I didn't even want to record this. I don't want anybody to like look down on it. Uh, but we. So I guess technically the county is responsible to clean everything up. There's a major highway up there, but it's way down a hill. So I can't even park up there and walk up and down the hill. It's like in the middle of nowhere. But I like scrapping. This is what I do, so I'm on it. I don't want to put my buddy on camera, but he's what helping do? me. Get, be careful, we're getting aluminum and a little bit more wire. There's like homemade shacks and stuff back there. A mini fridge. Steel doors. I don't know how much I'm gonna take out of here, but metal is metal is metal, guys. I just felt like I have to get some recording. I have to show all you scrappers out there. There's a small stockpile of metal and there's also so much trash back here. 
So maybe I'll come back afterwards and get a video bagging up some of these boxes and stuff. For good karma and good juju. All right, guys. Okay, YouTube. We got a bunch of aluminum in here and little steel screws and stuff. This is the first I'm sweating very bad. We're at a homeless encampment uh, off the train tracks, obviously. The main road is way up there and there's a hill so you can't get to it. Well, the person that owned it used to scrap and he stockpiled a bunch of metal and uh, wood and stuff. And uh, not right now, he uh, stockpiled a whole bunch of wood and stuff, but there's metal down here. He passed away. And my buddy said we could take whatever we want so we're just grabbing metal out of here and we're done <laughs> uh, i'm not trying to stay long i don't want anybody to think i'm doing anything wrong if anything we're cleaning but yeah this is a lot of metal uh laying in the middle of nowhere in the woods i gotta drive up there and to the right to get out it's not too far Okay, YouTube, so I didn't record myself throwing that out. There's so much loose uh, aluminum back there that it took forever. It took forever to separate everything. Came to 760 pounds because of all them motor parts and stuff I filmed in the beginning. Now I'm going to take a whole bunch of aluminum to non -fares. I probably can't record it again, but it's a lot. And there's a line, great, great, great. Yeah, there's a line. We're going to be here a while, YouTube. But we'll go get it done and see what it's worth. Okay, YouTube. That's a whole lot of aluminum. A little bit of wire and not much else. But, yeah. We're going to take all that up and see what it's worth. Once this line goes down some. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. My daughter decorated. I love it. Happy Halloween, everybody. That's real fast. I wanted to show you the whole bunch of chunks of aluminum. It's not super, super thick, but it's a lot. See it? Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of these smaller pieces. There's a bunch of, uh, it's mostly aluminum, honestly. Like brackets and a whole bunch of aluminum brackets and stuff like this. Chunks and chunks and chunks. Uh, it's not pure non ferrous though. There's trash. There's a little bit of circuit board. The guy was like a hoarder scrapper but he didn't cash it in it's like years worth of saving stuff up and he did pass away he, he went to the hospital and passed away I, I don't know why i didn't really ask but check it out aluminum 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 guys it's a lot back there and there's so much mess like dangerous to get it out because it's so much mess. Non-fair. 
Roll take it. Non ferris, non ferris. My buddy's helping me. I'm not putting him on camera, but there's Try more. Again. Okay, guys. So I got here around 4:35 o'clock. It's getting dark. Um, put a bunch of straps on here. There's a whole bunch of loose aluminum in here. I put extra bungees right here. I don't want nothing to fall off. You gotta be wary about stuff like that, you know. Definitely don't want nothing to fall. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna um head out because it's getting dark. And uh, I don't know how much weight's on here. It's a lot. Uh, my paws are getting down a little bit. Time to head out. We got a load though. It's not a large one. We'll see what happens in the morning. Yeah, here's the woods. Let's get it. Okay, guys, we are almost to the yard of scrap. Let's go throw out some aluminum. Uh, there's a whole bunch of steel down by the tailgate. I'm gonna throw that out first, obviously, and then there's a whole bunch of aluminum that needs separated that I got on video yesterday from the woods, from the homeless encampment. Uh, we'll be there in like three, four minutes, and I gotta cut a bunch of cords off of stuff and sort everything out. It's gonna take the longest. Beautiful morning. Beautiful. Okay, we are arriving at the destination. I'm gonna go do the steel first. And then we're coming to do the not fair. Okay guys, I'm here. I'm at the mountain of steel. Um so we put most of the steel towards the front. You can see, I gotta go through everything I can to see what's what and cut. Towards off of everything. It's gonna take a little while, but I'll get it. And there are different types of wire as well, so. This is gonna take me forever, I think. I basically gotta get the steel out of here as fast as possible. Whatever is steel anyway. There's a bunch of like light switches and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna actually have time to sit here and sort every last thing out. Wow, what mill walk? We keeping that I like that but uh yeah so i'm not gonna record myself doing all this but it will take me a while throw as much steel out as i can and as fast as i can whole bunch or whole bunch of switches I'm not even gonna record. These are aluminum bolts, nuts. I'm not gonna record myself doing all this because I'll be here forever. But just know that I am trying to organize it as good as I possibly can and not waste a whole lot of stuff. And I'm cutting the cords off. I'm not just wasting everything. Thick wire. See, I don't have time to really go through everything like I want to. China. Tools, old phones, switches. I seen a guy pulling these apart and getting little brass contacts out of these online once. Just know I got my work cut out for me, guys. This 
switch box. There's an old Sega Genesis in here. I don't want it and it's been in the rain forever. Like forever, forever. Bunch of lags, I should save a few of these. There's a bunch thrown in the truck so I actually can't. It's hard to do this on the fly. I'm, I'm gonna throw all this steel out. And... Okay guys, uh, so I just spent like 20 minutes just pulling steel out of there. Now I gotta get my tickets on and then go to the non-ferris and sort out aluminum for like a half hour probably. It's just all different kinds and they want you to have it all, all situated or they give you a very hard time. I'm gonna run in here, get my ticket, and then go to non Ferris and see what we come up with. So I got so much going on that I pulled over to the side. Like people do this all the time. They process refrigerators or whatever. I'm gonna sort all this out before uh, I go in there or they're gonna yell at me again because it's all mixed in. There's dirty aluminum mixed with clean like whole pieces. And I gotta organize it first. Uh, there's some wire. There ain't a lot, a lot, but there is some wire in here for the non fair We're gonna uh, separate this correctly so we get paid correctly. It's going in the heavy wire bucket. This man had so much stuff accumulated and didn't cash it in, it's crazy. I was talking to Salvaging and AZ about it. Uh, it is insane that he never cashed it in. He like stockpiled my buddy that told me about it said he did cash it in just not a lot because the man had a lot of money and didn't drink or do anything like that there's circuit boards thrown in here a couple screws i didn't get out lags i'll probably keep them actually but yeah i'm gonna separate this now okay guys i'm going into non fares uh so i separated what i could i put the chunks on one side the wire on another this is going to be a headache i can't record it but it's not all 100 percent sorted so they might get on like get mad but here we go <laughs> been doing non-ferris for like 40 minutes <laughs> okay scrappers um i don't have a ticket to show you but it was a total of $336.03 for all that metal that we got. And I might be able to get a whole nother load. We're going to go back there later today. Hopefully, I have some junk removal to do. I have some mattresses to get. And right now, we're putting money into the gasolina. Um, yeah, I literally was there for two and a half hours separating all the non ferrous and i did not even get all of the non ferrous out of there there's still some wire and aluminum but it was so much crap like the guy got frustrated i got frustrated he did help me though that was cool al metals is a good spot to go just know that was a whole lot of uh aluminum not bad at all we're going back later today now we're going to remove junk, ladies and gentlemen.
close the sack. Radiator. Scrap man, scrap man, that's what I do. Some of these are very long, like 12 feet or longer, maybe 16. Sheesh. Keep going, guys, keep going. Real quick, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to show you all that aluminum we got from them woods. It was so much. Aluminum excursion. $539 one trip. And I didn't even empty my truck. Dun -da -da -da, bunch of warrants. I didn't even empty my truck. There's so much in there. It took so long. I didn't have time, but Jesus. Pick your screws up. Woo! Working. Grinding. Regular trash concrete. He had everything back here, man. There's a shack. There's a whole wall of aluminum. A wall. And then there's wood down on that. It's crazy.